Hello guys, another tip about anterior open bite, the treatment of anterior open bite. You see that we have many, many possibilities when we deal with anterior open bite, depending, of course, mainly on the diagnosis that we establish for that kind of treatment. So there are some situations in which we can use elastics for closing anterior open bite. Yes, there are, but all those cases, they must respect the patient profile, they must respect the relationship between the upper incisor and the upper lip, so we can do the best treatment that we can for that patient. In this case here, I'm giving you the example of anterior open bite treated with extrusion of anterior teeth. So sometimes we use anterior elastics for that, and I'm going to show you other possibilities of using elastics for that. Patients must wear elastic a lot for that and be very compliant. So in this case, we are going to do the, the elastics, put the elastics in a different position, just posterior teeth, because we have a wider open bite in which just posterior teeth contact. So in this case, again, in those kind of situations, we need to have this kind of uh, anterior open bite in which we don't have uh, exposure of anterior teeth in the rest lip position. In this case here, as you can see, we don't have it. In this example, what we have is anterior open bite. So here, in this example, what we have is a good relationship to do the extrusion, meaning we have a negative relationship between the upper incisor's teeth and upper lip. So we can do the extrusion without showing that much of uh, upper incisors in a rest and lip position and during the smile. So good. What we're going to do here, extrusion of all those teeth. But as you can see in this example that I'm giving now, we have posterior open bite also, meaning I need to do the extrusion of posterior teeth. One option for that, and this is one good tip, is to put in the lower arch a stiff arch wire meaning we are giving more anchorage like 17 or even 1925 stainless steel arch wire so we can decrease the amount of extrusion that we have in lower arch. In this case, we are increasing the extrusion of the upper and decreasing the, the, the extrusion of the lower. Another option here could be put in, inserting here and the lower arch can put in between the premolars or between the second premolar and first molar, one mini implant or even two mini implants, and attaching those mini implants to the lower arch wire in both sides, of course, and we just have this indirect, indirect anchorage to bear the force of the elastic. So we have almost no extrusion in the lower arch. A good option for those cases in which you can't we can't afford for the having this extrusion in the lower arch so let's move on as you can see triangular elastics usually i use for this kind of situation this configuration of the elastics one one eight elastics heavy or medium sometimes the light elastic they, they don't have enough force to do that so it's very very uh, low force and since we have the arch wire in position, sometimes we need to have more force to do the extrusion, okay? I know that we need to control that. I know that a lot. But in this case, the medium or even the heavy 1A can be an option for this. So here we have the vertical component of the elastics. We have the resultant of the force like this. In the middle of the triangle, the apex of the, apex of the triangle, would be the origin of the vector and the, the head of the vector in this direction. So we have a vertical component which is very good for us. So let's move on. We have here the closure of the open bite and now we have a good relationship between the upper lip and the upper incisors. So it's very important that we need, need to think about it all the time we can't we can't de decrease the beauty of the smile and the condition of, the, of showing a to your upper teeth in a rest lip position so keep that in mind all the time okay so let's move on and let's see the case in a 
clinical case how things uh, happen. As we know, in this case, what we have is more exposure after a while because we're doing the extrusion, meaning if your patient, she or he, already shows a lot, a lot of display of this anterior teeth in a uh, rest lead position, it's not indicated to do this kind of treatment. It's not this kind of approach that you're going to use in this patient. So let's move on and see the case. Here we have it. And as I, sometimes I, I have the opportunity to do the photographs with the elastics in position, but sometimes we don't. In this case, I didn't uh, uh, have the elastic in position, so I need to show to you how it goes, uh, how it was worn by your patient, by this, this patient. So one eight, in this case medium, in the right, right side, with this shape here that is going to correct also the class three. Vertical plus a class three vector. Now we have the other side quite the opposite because the midlines, they were shift one to one side and the other one to the other side, okay? So in this case, class three in one side and class two in the other side. We go on and on, go it again and again with the same thinking without the need of putting elastic in the anterior segment, which is very difficult because we lose uh, patient compliance when we do this because it's too, it's too exposed. You know, this patient has an open bite. So in this case, when we put in the posterior segment the elastic, we can have more uh, compliance of our patient. So in this case, posterior. And we need to, to correct the class two and the class three. Other thing here that is very important, another tip in this case is that we need to keep the elastic in position after having the correction of the, the open bite for at least three months, okay? Why is that? Because during these three months, we have two renewals of the periodontal ligament fibers Periodontal ligament fibers are important to decrease the amount of relapse that we have. And we also have the bone, be, the, the growth of the bone during these 90 days. So very important. It's not about just correcting the open bite. It's about keeping it stable, keeping the correction stable. So keep those elastics less hours per day, like 12 hours per day maximum for at least through three months, okay? So let's move on. This uh, open bite being closed, you see, and now we have a good positioning of anterior uh, upper teeth. And now we need to create now a better smile arc. In this case, we use for that after a while, we could refer this patient to the cosmetic dentist for that. Okay, so let's move on. So closed, but we needed to keep in position for another three months, okay? Another three months with a different protocol. Less time per day, but you need to keep it. And after a while, we correct the open bite and kept this open bite closed. As you can see, this is before and after closure of this open bite. And those tips are very important. Use it in your office, okay? So very good to see you here, guys. And this is before and after, space uh, open by closed. And that's what I wanted to show to you in these tips, okay? So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel so you can go on showing more and more stuff to you. See you soon, guys. Thanks for being with me today.